Hello and welcome to me and my golf. We're your coaches, Piers and Andy, and today is my swing analysis. Andy, what are we talking about? Right, we're analysing one of your golf swing, talking about the all-important club face. We're here on the 18th at the Asprey. Let's take charge of your game. Right then, Andy, swing analysis. How can these guys enter the competition? These can enter, can they? Of course they can. They can enter. Right, all you need to do is post your comment down below. Tell us why you need a swing analysis, and we will choose a winner in the next few days. Post it down below right now. All right, good luck with that. Right, so we have Gregory Moore. Now, Gregory Moore is an 11 handicapper, um, looking to be more consistent. Now, I, he's aware, Andy, that his footwork could be improved. So yep. he's a feeling that he's jumping a little bit when he's hitting the golf ball. So let's just watch the golf swing in full flowing motion from both views so we can see this. Now we can see, yes, when he's hitting the golf ball, nice golf swing. We can see when he's doing this, that yes, his feet are moving around quite a lot in the golf swing. But what we need to do, Gregory, is to look why this happens. And when you say you're inconsistent, so we're saying shots left, shots right, poor contacts. So we need to look at what could be causing this. So. This is the area I want to look at though. If we look at the golf club as it's coming through impact, look at the amount of rotation he has with his hands through the golf ball. Now Andy, we know when we see hands and arms rotating fast and the club head rotating fast through impact, not bad for power, but actually could be inconsistent. So we then look at that and go, well, why is that the case? So then we track it back and we look at the club face. So we can actually see now the club face going through his backswing is in an open position. Now. Why do we know that this club face is open? Or what, what's the cause of this club face being open? So if we now look at the setup, we can actually see that his lead hand, his left hand, is actually a little bit too much under the club, which is what we call an open club face grip or a weak grip. And you can see, this is how we will systematically track back the result of the shot to then what caused it through all the steps in the golf swing. So we can see basically, Andy, we've got a, a grip, a left hand grip, which is causing the club face to open, which is causing him to be very active with his hands. Definitely. And this is a classic example, Greg, of actually um, you understanding the symptoms and looking at the symptoms, looking at the feet. The feet aren't the problem. The face is the problem. The feet are the compensations for the problem. Of so course. if we attack the actual problem, which is the face, the feet can do a better job. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is the style and the swing of your golf swing, we are going to leave alone apart from the grip and the club face position. So the, the, the height of the arms, the takeaway, they may change a little bit, but it'll only change by the fact that you're changing the club face position. So Andy, how are we going to change the grip first of all? Okay, well look, so the grip, the left hand grip is a little bit weak, so it's a little too far around to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you, Greg, to actually take your left hand grip and we're going to drop a T in between your, th your thumb and forefinger. And what we're going to notice on this grip here, notice how the T is pointing well left of the centre of the grip. This is a weak grip and what this will cause in the backswing, it will cause the face to rotate too much and this is where it all starts. Mm -hmm. If we can have a stronger face throughout the backswing by improving this grip, it's going to make a big difference. So what we're going to ask you to do, all we're going to do is keep that in there and I'm going to ask you to rotate the hand around so that the T points more central down the grip. And this is a much stronger grip and now this is going to enable us to get a stronger face on the way back. You can see the club face now actually similar to my spine yeah. angle pierce and from here I can carry on and work the club face into a stronger position at the top. Okay. Now one great thing that Gregory has at the top of his golf swing pierce, he has quite a flat lead wrist, yes. which is great. We want to keep that. We want to keep that yeah. but the grip change will actually strengthen the face at the top which will then enable him to actually use the feet better through the golf ball. And once you've changed this, everything tends to get better. Work at one thing okay. and we see everything get better. So we're saying let, let's change the grip effectively and then see if we can get the wrist position. But I'll tell you what we're going to do, Andy. Only, I've got a golf ball in my pocket. I want you to hit two shots. I want you to hit one shot, first of all, with Gregory's grip and don't put in his compensation of getting the hands going very fast through it. Okay. So I, I basically want you to get the club face open by changing your grip and then just doing your normal swing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, weaken the left hand and do a normal swing. See what happens. So left hand well under to the left. And we, no have, we have Trackman here to give us some key numbers. Okay, let's see what it affects. Here we go, normal golf swing. So nice strike. We can see the ball has missed target to the right. Yeah, so you can see that's a, probably a little bit higher than you would normally hit it as well. Okay, so the club face to the path there that was four degrees open. So the, if we need to think of this, the club face is open to the path where he is swinging on by four degrees. Now you have missed the target, Andy, by 57 feet to the right. Yeah, bunker. 
in the bunker. So what you would do, obviously, you would do the Gregory Moore compensation, which is to get the hands working a, little, a lot faster. Definitely. So that, this is where you compensate, Greg. So we've got an open face. You're, you know that that ball's going to go right like it did. So what we have to do is release the club, spin the feet to try and square the face. But we know then that that's going to rob you of consistency um, because really the lower body isn't working as it should. And it's, it's interesting that there are so many different things in your goal swing which are working as a result of that, you know, from the leaning towards the target to lower the ball flight. So, Definitely. Andy, right, we've got the grip good then. So we've gone with the grip change. How are we going to change the club face on the way back? Okay, so all we're going to simply do is, like you say, grip is in a good position now, but we're really going to focus on this, getting the grip of the club, sorry, the, the club face now to be very similar to my spine angle. My left hand, if anything, now feels a little bit more under the shaft on the way back, as opposed to what we see with Gregory. We sort of see this rotation, high hands as well, hands. club faces is very open so I'm sort of more in this position here where the left hand is a little bit more underneath and you can see the club face now looking a little more to the ground. Okay so from there to the top how's it going to look to the top? So top very different wrist nice and neutral club face here is probably a little strong yeah but I don't mind that because now we can really drive use the lower body and we've got a reason to move now Pierce we talk about it so often We've got a reason to move because the club face is doing a good job. Do that again there. And, and Andy, Andy, actually, I'm going to pull him up a little bit on this one because he said very different. Actually, it's pretty much the same other than the club face. But Andy may say to me, well, the club face is that important that it should be very different. But it's interesting. Just do that move again there, Andy, because that's the next thing I wanted you to do. So from a position where the face is a lot stronger, from there to turn through for me, we can see that the hands are a lot quieter going through the hit and the lower body is able to rotate more and the feet are doing a better job. All right, let's see here at Golf Show here, Andy. You've got to hit this. Well, if you hit it 56 feet right of target, then at least you've improved. Okay, so we're looking at face to pass numbers here and probably a bit of distance as well, aren't we? Yes. And maybe even accuracy as well. Yeah, All 161 to beat on distance. Interesting, when you start to work at a club face, which is a little bit more str strong. That was like left, that, by the way, goes that was. Left. But that's okay. again me working hard at strengthening the face. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's going to make the big difference. Face to path is obviously going to be closed on that. Okay, so the carry 175, so we've gone up like 14 yards. Face to path, four degrees left of the path. I won't tell you how far left it was because it was left. It was about five yards left of the target, <laughs> that was. Okay, so Gregory, look, what we're just trying to say with this is that it's a great video that you've sent us in that you're thinking of one thing in your goal swing, but that thing that's there, the feet, is actually a compensation for your fault. So that we wanted to show you how we would track a fault back from the shot results to then actually the things that you need to compensate. But then looking at the root cause, which is the grip, and then is the club face, as it is so many times, Andy. It very, yes, it is. So make sure you uh, give, give that a go, practice, let us know your thoughts, and don't forget, if you want to enter the competition, post your comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe down below too. Thanks for watching. So what we have done with Gregory there is exactly how our shot fixer works at meandmygolf.com. So there it is in the corner, click on that link. Yes, and while you're there, make sure you check out our latest video series, Beginner Golf Basics, the short game, it is definitely going to help you improve. Thanks for watching and we'll see you there.